Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Codex. I'm Avi and welcome to this brand new series on GitHub. In these videos, I'm going to be covering what is Git, what is GitHub, how to create your very own GitHub repositories, commit, add changes, and the whole concept behind version control on your very own computer. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's get started. So first thing first, guys, I want to stress the importance of version control. Go ahead and read through this quick comic. Um, I'll go ahead and read it out. Not so long ago in a galaxy close by, hey George, what's up? I accidentally deleted another page of my manuscript. Not the stupid sun battle thing again. It's not stupid, you're stupid. Oh well, you had it all under version control, right? Version con what? Ugh. So this series of comics is just supposed to stress the importance of version control. I know what you're wondering, what is version control? What is this Git and GitHub, these amazing terms that people throw out? Why does everyone tell me, hey, are you using version control? Version control is basically a system to record and manage changes made to files and folders. It allows you to, over time, track all the changes you make, what you've done, what you've added, what you've deleted, and it allows you to go back to those changes and revert them if need be. What's really cool is version control is commonly used for code, and that's where Git and GitHub come into play. However, you can also use version control for any type of file. For example, I'm sure you guys have used version control in Google Docs. Here I have this simple Google Doc of a couple of machine learning ideas I was going over, and you can see over here the edits that I made these changes. January 30th, 5.14 p.m., I made a change. Current version, April 2nd, 10.51 p.m. As you can see right now, these changes are all part of a version control system. It's probably not the GitHub system I'm going to be teaching you, but it's all part of a version control system. So why should you use version control? Well, in practice, you should always be using version control for any type of code you write. It allows you to save your work over time. If you've played Pokemon before, it's kind of like that checkpoint in Pokemon where you save your game and make sure that all your progress is right there ready for you when you come back. For example, if I was writing a thousand page book and on page 999, an earthquake happens or lightning strikes my home and I lose all of my work. Well, that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? But with version control, Every single day after I'm done writing, I would commit my changes. Every single day after I finish a chapter, I would commit those changes, save those changes, and then if something happens to it, I'll still have my most recent version where I can go ahead and start working from there again. So again, version control is super duper powerful. Um, super excited you're in this series. And another nice part about this is multiple people can be working on the exact same repository. If I have this piece of code, and I have four other teammates, using version control, we can all write code to that exact same project, that exact same package, and track what changes are being made by each other and hold each other accountable. So where does Git and GitHub come into this? Git is the actual software that's utilized for this version control system. On the Git website, it states that Git is a free and open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything from small to large projects with speed and efficiency. Now, Git by itself is amazing, but GitHub is the web service that allows Git to be even more powerful. With GitHub, you have team collaboration, you have extensions, there's so much you can do with it. They have their own desktop application, they have their own browser extension, etc. And through the combination of Git and GitHub, this term social coding comes to be, where you can combine these two services and now, you can work with anyone around the world on your own piece, on your own package, on your own project. You can hold each other accountable. You can save your progress. So this is where Git and GitHub come into play. And in the coming few videos, I'll be explaining to you how to create your very own GitHub account, how to get started with GitHub, and how version control can be implemented on your own machine. Thanks so much for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.